Hey, what's up guys? Don't mind my graphics right now. I'm on the default here. Default everything. Just so I can show you guys what's up here. So, we have lightning. Shaders, lightning, it's here. People are going to want to know how to set this up. So let's show you. The first thing you want to do is hit shaders.lightning.debug. Above my car up here, that is actually the lightning, right? So let's see what happens here. We can change the height. It appears the higher it goes, the more that it puts light into the actual sky like that, and the lower it is, the more is coming towards the ground. As you can see, my ground color is changing, and the lightning is becoming more distinct. So let's see what the distance does. The distance will put it way off in the background, which to me might actually be better because as I'm racing around the track, I'm often looking at the track and what's out there rather than what's right above my car. Alright, so the exponent is how bright it's going to get, so you can go from you know, realistic lightning strikes to a big rift opening up in an RPG game and we're waiting to kill the boss together. Whatever you prefer, that's how you get that look. Bounce light from the lightning is simply going to be what comes onto the ground from the lightning and what does not go onto the ground from the lightning. So myself, you know, we're going to see a lot of this coming out with the graphics mods and we're going to see a lot of you know, super realistic lightning that's going to look like this, and no, no, let's just not do that. You know, let's go to get some nice bright lightning, if you want some nice bright lightning, lower the bounce light a little bit on that lightning. The saturation of the lightning, this one's awesome, because now you can get, you know, yellowish lightning, or you can go right in for that crazy purpleness lightning, and again, the more you turn up the saturation of it, Maybe you want to, you know, change the exponent a bit so you get that nice, like, kind of purpley neon lightning in the sky, right? This is all you really need to do here. And uh, you can make it however you want, man. You can go way up in the sky. You can get it, you know, right down there, super neon. Uh, we can go back and try and make it a little more bluish. We can make it yellowish. You can have any type of lightning that would be, you know, cool to see right so it's all here um ah uh, woohoo it's a whirlpool of lightning bro like that's wild but <clears throat> that's fire because you can just you can change it right you can change everything you can change the rotation of it maybe you want to see that lightning coming through the sky more make it bigger rotate it make it uh make it pop more right that's all you need to do. All you need to do is get in here and start messing around with these settings and making it how you want it. And then after you're done with that, after you're done with that, after you're done with that, let's go add some clouds in the sky. Let's go, let's go to Pure Planner. Let's go take out some of this mist. Let's get this checkbox off the screen. Let's go, okay, it's already not there. Um, let's turn off the rain because it's not working right now anyway for me. So now what we need to do real quick is just check to see if we've got some crazy smog going on. Where's our clouds? There's our clouds, bro. It was the smog shape. Alright. Or fog shape. Now let's see what we can get going with some clouds. Maybe we want to have, you know, some, some bright thundery clouds with some nice lightning in there. Mind you, everything's still default in the game, so my graphics aren't that great. But, this is how we need to set things up. The, the debug modes are there for a reason, you know what I'm saying? You're never gonna hurt yourself clicking on the debug mode. The worst thing that might happen is your game might crash. But let's turn it off now, and let's just see if it works, man. We're doing this together today. Uh, let's, let's see what happens, alright? So now we got this lightning that you know, it should be somewhere. Do I do a quick pan all around? Do I do a slow pan? Do I wait a minute? Do I 
do I rechange the weather maybe just to make sure that okay no I don't gotta do anything where is it bro uh, we're gonna hit F7 go into photo mode and use the mouse to scroll out a little bit and uh, yeah let's just go head over here oh I seen something over there uh, one thing I need to do is I need to lower the horizon offset here uh, it's the smog maybe we need to get rid of that uh, Alright, so, so far, uh, haven't seen any lightning, actual bolts, oh, way over there, bro, holy, dude, way over there, man, that's wild, that's way too far, okay, so, let's just keep looking for it, boys, we just gotta see the lightning, we gotta see what it's doing, we need this lightning to, to work properly, or at least how you want it to look to your preference, which would be awesome. Alright, let's zoom out a lot. Let's see where it pops. Where is the lightning at? I wonder if I need to turn down the height a bit. Because for me, in, in reality, right, um, I want to see this lightning almost hitting the ground. Like, when I'm coming around a corner, if I see a building, I want this lightning to be striking down behind that building, right? When lightning strikes, it can go to the ground, light trees on fires and stuff. I want to see that bolt, man. I want that bolt to bolt right to the ground, and I want to see it. And I want to see it happen really fast, and I don't want to miss it, so... Um, okay, there's one. So let's go to debug mode again. And let's just see what it gives us in, off in the distance there. Zoom in on it a bit. Okay, now, I want that lightning to be close. You see what's happening there with the distance now? It's, it's basically right above me. And again, we're going to rotate it because I want this to be coming towards the ground. I'm not going to bother here. I'm going to keep everything really low on the height. The exponent, let's make it... Let's go ahead and make it a little brighter. Let's go for that that bright blue movie style. All right, we're bright blue movie. It's closer now. It's, it's flashing right above us. I'm going to turn down the bounce light just a little bit. You want to see the flash. You don't want it to be super overwhelming saturation yeah let's go nice and blue so this is how we're setting it up all right let's see what's popping now so it's going way up there to way down there but now if I'm in my car and I hit F5 it's barely there you see that it's still barely 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 even coming onto the screen and that's what I want to fix so let's go ahead and see what happens with this variant setting. Distance. See, I want it to be close enough that it... It's close enough. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want it too far, you just want it close enough to where it's close enough. Okay, I'll increase the, the light flash. I just want it lower. I just want to be able to see it, like, dropping. Oh, lightning debug sequence. Here we go. So while this is happening, let me go ahead... Alright, let's hit F7 camera again and zoom out. Oh yeah, bro, that's a big flash, dude. That's that's fire. I mean, that's a little unrealistic. I, I don't know, man. I don't see a lot of lightning. I would imagine it's not quite that bad, but 
if only it would light up the sky. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you've ever seen a lightning flash, that's really, really good, man. But you can totally see it in the sky, too. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's right above me. You know, it's, that's ripping, man. We're turn down the lightning speed a bit so we can see it a little longer. It's not quite as flashy like that. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, sick. Turn down the flashing of the light a bit. And, uh... We want to get this to um, just be a little bigger still. You know, if it was a little longer, um, it would be good. So let's, let's check the size maybe. Maybe we'll just crank a huge size difference right here and rotate it again. Where was that rotation? Um, rotation, rotation. All right, there we go. And let's see what we can manage here. Now I'm wondering, now that we have this a little better, maybe we can raise the height. There it is, boys. There it is, boys, right there. Boom. Sky flash, ground flash, lightning strikes, everything is there. We're chilling. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um... And I'll, I'll tweak it later, but for now, lightning enabled, bro, and to me, that's fire. You can literally leave it on debug mode and have your lightning just pounding away while you're driving. Have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming. Lightning action. Let's go. Have a good day, everybody.